Marshal Dadajura. Chapter 481, Chu Feng's Decision At that very instant, Chu Feng closed his eyes and shot his mind towards his own spiritual world. He stood within the world spirit space, faced Eggy, and asked, Eggy, are these ice and fire pearls truly as powerful as how Monkey Bro said they are? I am not a world spiritist, so I don't have spirit power. I have no way of checking how powerful the hidden power of the pearls are, but I having this feeling that these two pearls aren't simple. That little monkey monster is a purple cloak world spiritist. His spirit power is already not weak, and since he has said that, I'm sure that those two pearls shouldn't be simple things. After all, the master of this emperor tomb is a not simple character already, so how can the things he leave behind be weak? Eggy said. I understand. As Chu Feng spoke and with a thought, he cast his mind back to his body. He opened his eyes and spoke, everyone here, please stay far away from this place and go outside first. Because, no matter what, I, Chu Feng, must save Su Ro and Su Mei. Even if there is only a single strand of hope, even if the price of failure means a calamity for the entire continent, I must save them. This. Hearing Chu Feng's words, everyone on scene unnervingly looked at one another while being at a loss. Especially, the people before who urged Chu Feng to give Su Ro and Su Mei up. Their expressions were very complicated, but ultimately, not a single person chose to leave. From the beginning to the end, they stood there and didn't even move half a step. Brother Chu Feng, I, Chu Wei, do indeed fear death, but I respect your decision. I also see you as a brother, so no matter if it will fail or not, I will be by your side and accompany you through life or death. Chu Wei said. That's right. Chu Wei is correct. Chu Feng, don't worry and go ahead. No matter what the result is, we will support you. Yeah. Junior Chu Feng, the reason why we can live up to today is all because we relied on you. At a time like this, how can we abandon you? Junior Chu Feng, my strength is useless, so I am unable to be of any help for you. However, I will use my heart to support you. I won't leave this place. But what surprised Chu Feng was when he truly made the decision, no matter if it was the people who urged him to save Su Ro and Su Mei, or the people who urged him to give them up, at that instant, they were actually all supporting his decision. It had to be said that when facing the crowd's support which disregarded whether they died or lived, Chu Feng's heart was very warm because it at least meant he didn't look at them as family for nothing and that what he did for them wasn't for nothing. Even though some of them were cowardly, even though some of them had selfish hearts, they were people worthy of his trust, and were people who would stand out for him in the crucial moments. Boom. But just at that time, a huge explosion suddenly resonated out. The frost and flames within the spirit formation actually broke through the spirit formation and surged out. The blue-colored frost and red-colored flames interweaved, formed a wave of cold and hot air, and engulfed everything. All of you, quickly leave. The farther you are, the better. Seeing that, the monstrous monkey king explosively shouted, and at the same time, his hands were continuously changing as he struck out strange hand seals. Coincident with that, vast purple-colored spirit formation, also like a tide, surged out from its body and had actually sealed the frost and flames. Monkey bro, I'll stay behind to help you. Chu Feng said. I'll stay behind as well. Zeling also said. No. With the spirit formation power that you two grasp, you will be of no help. Staying behind will only add to the trouble. Quickly, leave. Everyone out. Or else, I will be unable to use my full strength and be controlled by these two pearls. But at that instant, the monstrous monkey king's face was actually filled with sweat. Within his blood-red eyes, a hint of fear actually appeared. This, at that instant, everyone was taken aback. They didn't know if they should leave or not, so almost everyone cast their gaze towards Chu Feng. Monkey bro, can you protect their lives? Chu Feng tightly knitted his brows. He had never seen the monstrous monkey king in that state. His image of the monstrous monkey king was an existence that didn't fear the heavens nor the earth. 
but he could understand the monstrous Monkey King's current state because he already felt how terrifying the power of the two pearls were. It was indeed as it said. The two pearls' true power was sealed. And they weren't completely unsealed. If they were completely unsealed, not to mention the monstrous Monkey King, it was likely that in the continent of the nine provinces, no one could do anything about the two pearls. So, Chu Feng was very worried. He was worried that even with the monstrous Monkey King's methods, it would not be able to save the current Su Ro and Su Mei. Damn boy, don't worry. Even if I, your monkey bro, put my life on the line, I will do my best to protect your two wives. Quickly leave. You will only distract me by staying here and hold back my methods. The monstrous monkey king turned its head and a reliable smile was formed from its mouth corners raising. Then I'm counting on you. We will all leave this place and wait outside of the Azure Dragon Mountain Range. In response, Chu Feng didn't hesitate as well. He turned around, shouted, then went first and ran towards the exit of the Thousand Bone Graveyard. At the same time, the others also quickly followed him one after the other. They hurriedly escaped to the outside because they were all able to feel the aura of the ice and fire pearls. The horrifying aura did indeed make them tremble from fear. Boom. Wah. Just as Chu Feng and the others arrived at the entrance, from the deep part of the Thousand Monster Mountain abruptly came an explosion. At the same time, deafening cries also started to sound. The noises were very terrifying. They seemed like the hell of beasts, yet like the cry of ghosts. All in all, they weren't noises made by humans. The most important thing was that despite coming from a very far place, people could feel the strange aura of cold and hot coexisting. That aura almost permeated throughout the Thousand Bone Graveyard, causing the incomparable hard walls of the Thousand Bone Graveyard to start to sway, as if they were afraid, and also causing them to endlessly tremble. Chu Feng, what should we do? The two pearls wouldn't have successfully escaped, right? At that instant, many people panicked. They didn't know what move was the right one, so they all cast their gazes towards Chu Feng. Don't worry, monkey bro should still be able to take care of it. Let's go. Chu Feng's eyes surged with radiance, then after tightly starting deep at the Thousand Bone Graveyard for a good while, he still leaped, stepped into the exit, and led the crowd away from the Thousand Bone Graveyard. Because, with his sharp spirit power, Chu Feng was able to feel that the monstrous Monkey King was still completely fine at present. Although the power of the ice and fire pearls was very strong, it was still within the monstrous Monkey King's grasp. After Chu Feng and the others left the Thousand Bone Graveyard, they didn't head far for escaping. With special methods, all of them rushed up to the clouds and closely watched the changes to the Thousand Bone Graveyard. And shortly after Chu Feng and the others rushed up into the sky, from the Thousand Bone Graveyard in the Azure Dragon Mountain Range, endless rumbling rang out. The noises got louder and louder. They were like bells at first, then like thunder later on. At the end, even the boundless big mountains started to sway. Countless deep cracks spread on the mountains, causing several peaks to split and innumerable boulders to roll down. Rolling dense smoke charged straight into the sky. As they looked, Chu Feng, Zi Ling, and Zhang Tani all broke out in a cold sweat, let alone the people from the Azure Dragon School and the Chu family members. Cold sweat kept on forming from fright and their bodies were trembling. Some people even lost the ability to stand because at the same time the explosions rang out, three waves of boundless, horrifying aura also came spreading over, enveloping that place. However, that was still the result of Chu Feng and Zi Ling combining powers to lay a spirit formation. If that spirit formation wasn't there, just with those three auras, they could have forcibly crushed many people there to death. 630485BFB98C9622D6C69 Chapter 481 Chu Feng's Decision At that very instant, Chu Feng closed his eyes and shot his mind towards his own spiritual world. He stood within the world spirit space, faced Eggy, and asked, Eggy, are these ice and fire pearls truly as powerful as how Monkey Bro said they are? I am not a world spiritist, so I don't have spirit power. 
I have no way of checking how powerful the hidden power of the pearls are, but I having this feeling that these two pearls aren't simple. That little monkey monster is a purple cloak world spiritist. His spirit power is already not weak, and since he has said that, I'm sure that those two pearls shouldn't be simple things. After all, the master of this emperor tomb is a not simple character already, so how can the things he leave behind be weak? Egi said. I understand. As Chu Feng spoke and with a thought, he cast his mind back to his body. He opened his eyes and spoke, everyone here, please stay far away from this place and go outside first. Because, no matter what, I, Chu Feng, must save Su Ro and Su Mei. Even if there is only a single strand of hope, even if the price of failure means a calamity for the entire continent, I must save them. This. Hearing Chu Feng's words, everyone on scene unnervingly looked at one another while being at a loss. Especially, the people before who urged Chu Feng to give Su Ro and Su Mei up. Their expressions were very complicated, but ultimately, not a single person chose to leave. From the beginning to the end, they stood there and didn't even move half a step. Brother Chu Feng, I, Chu Wei, do indeed fear death, but I respect your decision. I also see you as a brother, so no matter if it will fail or not, I will be by your side and accompany you through life or death. Chu Wei said. That's right. Chu Wei is correct. Chu Feng, don't worry and go ahead. No matter what the result is, we will support you. Yeah. Junior Chu Feng, the reason why we can live up to today is all because we relied on you. At a time like this, how can we abandon you? Junior Chu Feng, my strength is useless, so I am unable to be of any help for you. However, I will use my heart to support you. I won't leave this place. But what surprised Chu Feng was when he truly made the decision, no matter if it was the people who urged him to save Su Ro and Su Mei, or the people who urged him to give them up, at that instant, they were actually all supporting his decision. It had to be said that when facing the crowd's support which disregarded whether they died or lived, Chu Feng's heart was very warm because it at least meant he didn't look at them as family for nothing and that what he did for them wasn't for nothing. Even though some of them were cowardly, even though some of them had selfish hearts, they were people worthy of his trust, and were people who would stand out for him in the crucial moments. Boom. But just at that time, a huge explosion suddenly resonated out. The frost and flames within the spirit formation actually broke through the spirit formation and surged out. The blue-colored frost and red-colored flames interweaved, formed a wave of cold and hot air, and engulfed everything. All of you, quickly leave. The farther you are, the better. Seeing that, the monstrous monkey king explosively shouted, and at the same time, his hands were continuously changing as he struck out strange hand seals. Coincident with that, vast purple-colored spirit formation, also like a tide, surged out from its body and had actually sealed the frost and flames. Monkey bro, I'll stay behind to help you. Chu Feng said. I'll stay behind as well. Zeling also said. No. With the spirit formation power that you two grasp, you will be of no help. Staying behind will only add to the trouble. Quickly, leave. Everyone out. Or else, I will be unable to use my full strength and be controlled by these two pearls. But at that instant, the monstrous monkey king's face was actually filled with sweat. Within his blood-red eyes, a hint of fear actually appeared. This, at that instant, everyone was taken aback. They didn't know if they should leave or not, so almost everyone cast their gaze towards Chu Feng. Monkey bro, can you protect their lives? Chu Feng tightly knitted his brows. He had never seen the monstrous monkey king in that state. His image of the monstrous monkey king was an existence that didn't fear the heavens nor the earth. But he could understand the monstrous monkey king's current state because he already felt how terrifying the power of the two pearls were. It was indeed as it said. The two pearls' true power was sealed. And they weren't completely unsealed. If they were completely unsealed, not to mention the monstrous monkey king, it was likely that in the continent of the nine provinces, 
no one could do anything about the two pearls. So, Chu Feng was very worried. He was worried that even with the monstrous Monkey King's methods, it would not be able to save the current Su Ro and Su Mei. Damn boy, don't worry. Even if I, your monkey bro, put my life on the line, I will do my best to protect your two wives. Quickly leave. You will only distract me by staying here and hold back my methods. The monstrous monkey king turned its head and a reliable smile was formed from its mouth corners raising. Then I'm counting on you. We will all leave this place and wait outside of the Azure Dragon Mountain Range. In response, Chu Feng didn't hesitate as well. He turned around, shouted, then went first and ran towards the exit of the Thousand Bone Graveyard. At the same time, the others also quickly followed him one after the other. They hurriedly escaped to the outside because they were all able to feel the aura of the ice and fire pearls. The horrifying aura did indeed make them tremble from fear. Boom. Wah. Just as Chu Feng and the others arrived at the entrance, from the deep part of the Thousand Monster Mountain abruptly came an explosion. At the same time, deafening cries also started to sound. The noises were very terrifying. They seemed like the hell of beasts, yet like the cry of ghosts. All in all, they weren't noises made by humans. The most important thing was that despite coming from a very far place, people could feel the strange aura of cold and hot coexisting. That aura almost permeated throughout the Thousand Bone Graveyard, causing the incomparable hard walls of the Thousand Bone Graveyard to start to sway, as if they were afraid, and also causing them to endlessly tremble. Chu Feng, what should we do? The two pearls wouldn't have successfully escaped, right? At that instant, many people panicked. They didn't know what move was the right one, so they all cast their gazes towards Chu Feng. Don't worry, monkey bro should still be able to take care of it. Let's go. Chu Feng's eyes surged with radiance, then after tightly starting deep at the Thousand Bone Graveyard for a good while, he still leaped, stepped into the exit, and led the crowd away from the Thousand Bone Graveyard. Because, with his sharp spirit power, Chu Feng was able to feel that the monstrous Monkey King was still completely fine at present. Although the power of the ice and fire pearls was very strong, it was still within the monstrous Monkey King's grasp. After Chu Feng and the others left the Thousand Bone Graveyard, they didn't head far for escaping. With special methods, all of them rushed up to the clouds and closely watched the changes to the Thousand Bone Graveyard. And shortly after Chu Feng and the others rushed up into the sky, from the Thousand Bone Graveyard in the Azure Dragon Mountain Range, endless rumbling rang out. The noises got louder and louder. They were like bells at first, then like thunder later on. At the end, even the boundless big mountains started to sway. Countless deep cracks spread on the mountains, causing several peaks to split and innumerable boulders to roll down. Rolling dense smoke charged straight into the sky. As they looked, Chu Feng, Zi Ling, and Zhang Tani all broke out in a cold sweat, let alone the people from the Azure Dragon School and the Chu family members. Cold sweat kept on forming from fright and their bodies were trembling. Some people even lost the ability to stand because at the same time the explosions rang out, three waves of boundless, horrifying aura also came spreading over, enveloping that place. However, that was still the result of Chu Feng and Zi Ling combining powers to lay a spirit formation. If that spirit formation wasn't there, just with those three auras, they could have forcibly crushed many people there to death. Martial God Azura Chapter 482 The outcome is set What level of power is this? Seeing the vast mountains endlessly crumbling and collapsing, becoming rolling dense smoke, and even the outside of the mountain range was affected by the boundless aura, Chu Feng also felt shocked. He hiddenly sighed in his heart. Luckily, the area beyond the Azure Dragon Mountain Range was already destroyed by the Sword God Valley, causing there to be no one living within the borders of the Azure Dragon Mountain Range. Or else, there would definitely be countless people dying today again. This is not even close when compared to your actions back then in the Sword God Valley. But just at that time, a voice suddenly entered Chu Feng's ears. Turning his eyes over, he saw Zhang Tiani smilingly looking at himself. 
At that instant, Chu Feng could only helplessly smile, because on that day, when the power of the divine lightning was shown, Chu Feng already lost his awareness so even he himself didn't know how terrifying the destruction on that day was. In reality, up until now, he hadn't went back to the Sword God Valley. He hadn't seen the destruction he did himself, and had only heard them from Zi Ling's, Zhang Tianis, and Egi's mouths. Boom, suddenly, another deafening explosion resounded, and the entire Azure Dragon Mountain range trembled. After the dense smoke dispersed, Chu Feng and the others astonishedly discovered in the location of the Thousand Bone Graveyard, it had already collapsed. That area had already became a mini valley. At that instant, they tightly frowned. Although the Thousand Bone Graveyard was located underground, so no matter how much deeper the valley went, it wouldn't cause the Thousand Bone Graveyard to appear, the changes happening to the current Azure Dragon Mountain meant that the monstrous Monkey King was undergoing a frightening huge battle against the Two Pearls, and the might of that huge battle was already so strong that it engulfed the entire Azure Dragon Mountain range, and even the places beyond the Azure Dragon Mountain range was affected. The great battle lasted for one day and one night. Finally, at noon on the second day, it started to gradually calm down, and when the Azure Dragon Mountain range that had trembled for one full day and one full night returned to its former tranquility, the mountain range no longer seemed similar to before. Before, it had already experienced the ruin of the Sword God Valley, and now, it bore the aftermath of the battle between the monstrous Monkey King and the Ice and Fire Pearls. Although the current Azure Dragon Mountain Range was still a vast mountain range, it no longer had its previous steep atmosphere. The number of strange peaks were few within few. Instead, many valleys appeared. Although that Azure Dragon Mountain Range seemed a bit weak, in reality, it was more suitable for humans to live. More suitable for school rebuilding because there were even more mountaintops that could be opened up for use. But Chu Feng and the others did not have the mind to admire a bald mountain peak. They were worried about the safety of the monstrous Monkey King, Su Ro, and Su Mei. They were thinking whether the ice and fire pearls were sealed or not. However, no one dared to go down because they didn't know how it was in the Thousand Bone Graveyard. They didn't know if it was safe or dangerous inside. This won't work. I can't keep on sitting here doing nothing. I'm going down. Finally, Chu Feng made his move. He leaped, became a blur of light, and from the clouds, he flew towards the Thousand Bone Graveyard. Chu Feng, wait for me. Seeing that, Zi Ling also quickly followed and flew down. Senior Zhang, bring us down. We will follow Junior Chu Feng and live and die with him. At the same time, the disciples of the Azure Dragon School and the others cast their gaze of asking for help towards Zhang Tani. School head, this, at that instant, Zhang Tani was in a bit of a difficult situation. At the end, he could only cast his gaze towards the head of the Azure Dragon School, Li Zhang Qing. Oh Tani, go ahead. After all, the old ancestor is still there. We can't ignore his safety for our own right? Li Zhangqing said. As you wish. In response, Zhang Tani didn't hesitate as well. He brought the Azure Dragon Schools and Chu family's crowd down from the sky. Although his current cultivation was far above Li Zhangqing's and the two of them couldn't even be compared, after all, Li Zhangqing was the head of a school. Back then, he had also helped Zhang Tani quite a bit. So, Zhang Tani was the same as Chu Feng. He respected Li Zhangqing a lot, and he also followed his orders. While the crowd was descending, Chu Feng already opened the entrance to the Thousand Bone Graveyard. So, the crowd, with tense emotions, walked back into the Thousand Bone Graveyard. Heavens, isn't this a bit too scary? At that very instant, after re-entering the Thousand Bone Graveyard, almost everyone's expression couldn't help but greatly change. Even Chu Feng, Zi Ling, and Zhang Tani, the three people who had many experiences of the world, tightly furrowed their brows and felt bursts of uneasiness in their hearts. It was because the Thousand Bone Graveyard was the entrance to the Emperor Tomb. It was a place that the Azure Dragon founder made changes to when he was in his peak times. 
In this place, the degree of hardness was extremely impressive. Even if it was Chu Feng, Zi Ling, or even Zhang Tiani, they were unable to damage the walls in the slightest. But at that very instant, there were thick cracks on the surrounding walls in the Thousand Bone Graveyard. Countless shattered rocks rolled around, covering the ground. The hall that originally had overbearing might was currently unrecognizable, being in complete chaos. But Chu Feng, at that moment, didn't care about those things. He hurriedly walked deeper into the Thousand Bone Graveyard, and the deeper he went, the depressing situation became even more serious. Finally, Chu Feng and the others arrived to where the monstrous Monkey King and Su Ro and Su Mei were before. The walls and ground there were destroyed beyond recognition. What occupied the surrounding space were marks of fire burning past, as well as a large area of frost. And the monstrous Monkey King was currently sitting cross-legged at the most catastrophic middle zone. Its special clothes were almost completely fragmented, and on its fur, there were traces of being burnt by fire, and there were also remnants of slush. Its face was as pale as paper, and there was even a trace of blood remaining on the corners of its mouth. Clearly, he was heavily injured. But luckily, the monstrous Monkey King was still living, and behind him, there was a very powerful purple-colored spirit formation. Faintly, one could see two figures inside the spirit formation. It was Su Ro and Su Mei. Also, the two of them still had the auras of life. Monkey bro, are you all right? At that instant, Chu Feng quickly went up to the monstrous monkey king. His heart ached and was grateful. It was because the scene in front of him already told Chu Feng everything. After an intense battle, it was still the monstrous monkey king that gained the advantage. He had already successfully sealed the ice and fire pearls in Su Rose and Su Mei's bodies. Those two girls were temporarily safe. But because of that, the monstrous monkey king still clearly paid an extremely heavy price. So, that was why Chu Feng was both grateful, but his heart also ached, feeling shame at the same time. Boy, don't look at me with a face like a bitter melon. I won't die any time soon. However, this is luckily because the power of the two pearls were sealed. Or else, not to mention me, even those in the martial lord realm wouldn't be able to defeat those two pearls. Go check on your two wives. In a few days, they should reawaken. Perhaps they could even gain some benefits from those two pearls. There was still the reliable smile on the monstrous monkey king's face, but after speaking those words, it shut its eyes, its body fell and it entered an unconscious state. 630485BFB98C9622D6C69 Chapter 482 The Outcome is Set What level of power is this? Seeing the vast mountains endlessly crumbling and collapsing, becoming rolling dense smoke, and even the outside of the mountain range was affected by the boundless aura, Chu Feng also felt shocked. He hiddenly sighed in his heart. Luckily, the area beyond the Azure Dragon Mountain Range was already destroyed by the Sword God Valley, causing there to be no one living within the borders of the Azure Dragon Mountain Range. Or else, there would definitely be countless people dying today again. This is not even close when compared to your actions back then in the Sword God Valley. But just at that time, a voice suddenly entered Chu Feng's ears. Turning his eyes over, he saw Zhang Tiani smilingly looking at himself. At that instant, Chu Feng could only helplessly smile, because on that day, when the power of the divine lightning was shown, Chu Feng already lost his awareness so even he himself didn't know how terrifying the destruction on that day was. In reality, up until now, he hadn't went back to the Sword God Valley. He hadn't seen the destruction he did himself, and had only heard them from Zi Ling's, Zhang Tani's, and Egi's mouths. Boom, suddenly, another deafening explosion resounded, and the entire Azure Dragon Mountain range trembled. After the dense smoke dispersed, Chu Feng and the others astonishedly discovered in the location of the Thousand Bone Graveyard, it had already collapsed. That area had already became a mini valley. At that instant, they tightly frowned. Although the Thousand Bone Graveyard was located underground, so no matter how much deeper the valley went, it wouldn't cause the Thousand Bone Graveyard to appear, 
the changes happening to the current Azure Dragon Mountain meant that the monstrous Monkey King was undergoing a frightening huge battle against the two pearls, and the might of that huge battle was already so strong that it engulfed the entire Azure Dragon Mountain range, and even the places beyond the Azure Dragon Mountain range was affected. The great battle lasted for one day and one night. Finally, at noon on the second day, it started to gradually calm down, and when the Azure Dragon Mountain range that had trembled for one full day and one full night returned to its former tranquility, the mountain range no longer seemed similar to before. Before, it had already experienced the ruin of the Sword God Valley, and now, it bore the aftermath of the battle between the monstrous Monkey King and the Ice and Fire Pearls. Although the current Azure Dragon Mountain Range was still a vast mountain range, it no longer had its previous steep atmosphere. The number of strange peaks were few within few. Instead, many valleys appeared. Although that Azure Dragon Mountain Range seemed a bit weak, in reality, it was more suitable for humans to live. More suitable for school rebuilding because there were even more mountaintops that could be opened up for use. But Chu Fong and the others did not have the mind to admire a bald mountain peak. They were worried about the safety of the monstrous Monkey King, Su Ro, and Su Mei. They were thinking whether the ice and fire pearls were sealed or not. However, no one dared to go down because they didn't know how it was in the Thousand Bone Graveyard. They didn't know if it was safe or dangerous inside. This won't work. I can't keep on sitting here doing nothing. I'm going down. Finally, Chu Fong made his move. He leaped, became a blur of light, and from the clouds, he flew towards the Thousand Bone Graveyard. Chu Fong, wait for me. Seeing that, Ling also quickly followed and flew down. Senior Zhang, bring us down. We will follow Junior Chu Fong and live and die with him. At the same time, the disciples of the Azure Dragon School and the others cast their gaze of asking for help towards Zhang Tani. School head, this, at that instant, Zhang Tani was in a bit of a difficult situation. At the end, he could only cast his gaze towards the head of the Azure Dragon School, Li Zhang Qing. Oh Tani, go ahead. After all, the old ancestor is still there. We can't ignore his safety for our own right? Li Zhangqing said. As you wish. In response, Zhang Tani didn't hesitate as well. He brought the Azure Dragon Schools and Chu family's crowd down from the sky. Although his current cultivation was far above Li Zhangqing's and the two of them couldn't even be compared, after all, Li Zhangqing was the head of a school. Back then, he had also helped Zhang Tani quite a bit. So, Zhang Tani was the same as Chu Feng. He respected Li Zhangqing a lot, and he also followed his orders. While the crowd was descending, Chu Feng already opened the entrance to the Thousand Bone Graveyard. So, the crowd, with tense emotions, walked back into the Thousand Bone Graveyard. Heavens, isn't this a bit too scary? At that very instant, after re-entering the Thousand Bone Graveyard, almost everyone's expression couldn't help but greatly change. Even Chu Feng, Zi Ling, and Zhang Tani, the three people who had many experiences of the world, tightly furrowed their brows and felt bursts of uneasiness in their hearts. It was because the Thousand Bone Graveyard was the entrance to the Emperor Tomb. It was a place that the Azure Dragon founder made changes to when he was in his peak times. In this place, the degree of hardness was extremely impressive. Even if it was Chu Feng, Zi Ling, or even Zhang Tani, they were unable to damage the walls in the slightest. But at that very instant, there were thick cracks on the surrounding walls in the Thousand Bone Graveyard. Countless shattered rocks rolled around, covering the ground. The hall that originally had overbearing might was currently unrecognizable, being in complete chaos. But Chu Feng, at that moment, didn't care about those things. He hurriedly walked deeper into the Thousand Bone Graveyard, and the deeper he went, the depressing situation became even more serious. Finally, Chu Feng and the others arrived to where the monstrous Monkey King and Su Ro and Su Mei were before. The walls and ground there were destroyed beyond recognition. What occupied the surrounding space were marks of fire burning past, as well as a large area of frost. 
and the monstrous Monkey King was currently sitting cross-legged at the most catastrophic middle zone. Its special clothes were almost completely fragmented, and on its fur, there were traces of being burnt by fire, and there were also remnants of slush. Its face was as pale as paper, and there was even a trace of blood remaining on the corners of its mouth. Clearly, he was heavily injured. But luckily, the monstrous Monkey King was still living, and behind him, there was a very powerful purple-colored spirit formation. Faintly, one could see two figures inside the spirit formation. It was Su Ro and Su Mei. Also, the two of them still had the auras of life. Monkey bro, are you all right? At that instant, Chu Feng quickly went up to the monstrous monkey king. His heart ached and was grateful. It was because the scene in front of him already told Chu Feng everything. After an intense battle, it was still the monstrous monkey king that gained the advantage. He had already successfully sealed the ice and fire pearls in Su Rose and Su Mei's bodies. Those two girls were temporarily safe. But because of that, the monstrous monkey king still clearly paid an extremely heavy price. So, that was why Chu Feng was both grateful, but his heart also ached, feeling shame at the same time. Boy, don't look at me with a face like a bitter melon. I won't die any time soon. However, this is luckily because the power of the two pearls were sealed. Or else, not to mention me, even those in the martial lord realm wouldn't be able to defeat those two pearls. Go check on your two wives. In a few days, they should reawaken. Perhaps they could even gain some benefits from those two pearls. There was still the reliable smile on the monstrous monkey king's face, but after speaking those words, it shut its eyes, its body fell, and it entered an unconscious state. Martial God Azura Chapter 483 Rebuilding the Azure Dragon School, Monkey Bro Seeing the monstrous Monkey King lose consciousness, Chu Feng instantly panicked. He supported the monstrous Monkey King, and at the same time, everyone came up and surrounded them. The gazes they looked at the monstrous Monkey King with were filled with worry. Even though other than Chu Feng, Zi Ling, and Zhang Tiani, no one else there was really familiar with the monstrous Monkey King, they all knew that the expert with a strange appearance did an extremely impressive thing. It was suppressing the horrifying ice and fire pearls and saving Su Ro and Su Mei, who were deeply loved by Chu Feng. Even the Azure Dragon founder was unable to do that thing. So, they felt both grateful and respect towards the monstrous Monkey King, and knew that it was a very outstanding expert. And after a while of checking, Chu Feng, Zi Ling, and the others couldn't help calming down. Although the current monstrous Monkey King was extremely weak and its injuries were not light as well, there was no threat to its life. The reason why it was in that state was because it used too much heaven power and spirit power. In that situation, as long as it carefully took care of itself, it would be able to be healed. Only after stabilizing the monstrous Monkey King's situation did Chu Feng come in front of the purple-colored formation with Zi Ling to detailedly observe the situation within the formation. The formation was very beautiful and also very strong. There were over 10,000 types of symbols that converged together to form the purple-colored spirit formation. Every single one was as if it was granted life, flickering with faint radiance. Like the stars, they spiraled around an already set orbit within the purple-colored spirit formation. Through the gaps of the spirit formation, Chu Feng was able to see the situation within the formation. Su Rao and Su Mei were tranquilly lying inside. They had actually recovered their former, beautiful appearances. Frost faded away for one, flames faded away for the other. One became beautiful and cute, one became pure and amiable. Even though their faces were very pale, even though their auras were still very weak, they truly returned to their former appearances. Also, the pearls in their bodies were gradually stabilizing a special power was harmonizing with their bodies. Monkey bro, this time it is truly thanks to you. At that instant, Chu Feng cast his gaze towards the monstrous monkey king sleeping behind him, and his face was filled with expressions of gratitude. A few days after the ice and fire pearls were sealed in Su Rose and Su Mei's bodies, 
the monstrous Monkey King's body had recovered, and also at that time, the army of the Jiang dynasty actually descended from the sky and came to the currently desolate Azure Dragon Mountain range that was a complete mess. Quickly after, the Chilean prince's mansion also sent out a large group of men. So, they were here to help Chu Feng rebuild the Azure Dragon School. The Jiang dynasty asked for the best craftsmen in the continent of the nine provinces, and even sent out a grand army of 10,000 to help the construction. The Chilean prince's mansion also similarly sent out a grand army of near 10,000 people. Also, they gathered the best craftsmen within the borders of the Azure province to help Chu Feng rebuild the Azure Dragon School. That news soon spread throughout the continent of the nine provinces. The Jiang dynasty personally inviting first-class craftsmen and sent out 10,000 dynasty experts to help Chu Feng rebuild the Azure Dragon School. That inconceivable thing naturally shocked the continent of the nine provinces. Have you heard of it? Chu Feng is going to rebuild the Azure Dragon School. I heard about it. I even heard that the Jiang dynasty personally invited first-rate craftsmen experts from all areas of the nine provinces to help Chu Feng rebuild the Azure Dragon School. Not only that. The Jiang dynasty even sent out several tens of thousands of dynasty experts, and from what I've heard, they are all in the profound realm. Several tens of thousands of profound realm experts. Can you imagine that formation? Several tens of thousands of profound realm experts doing physical labor, constructing a school for someone. Have you ever heard of something like this before? Heavens! Are the things you're saying true or false? That's a bit too much, isn't it? No matter how much more overpowering Chu Feng is, he shouldn't be able to make the Jiang dynasty send out so many people, right? In the current continent of the nine provinces, all sorts of rumors rose everywhere. Some said the truth, some made up nonsense, very exaggeratedly spreading them. And after knowing about that, many young people who idolized Chu Feng clearly didn't confirm whether the rumors were true or false, yet they headed towards the Azure province without stopping nonetheless. They prepared to join the Azure Dragon School to check out their idol. Of course, there were also many people who didn't believe that and actually didn't care about hurrying for several tens of thousands of miles to come to the Azure province in order to get to the bottom of it, wanting to destroy the rumors. However, when the people who didn't believe it came to the Azure Dragon Mountain Range, they were instantly stupefied. It was because on the current Azure Dragon Mountain Range, not only were the army of the Jiang Dynasty and the Chilean Prince's Mansion doing giant constructions, there were even many people from the World Spirit Guild. Not only did the World Spirit Guild send out a large batch of experts, it even sent out Blue Cloak World Spiritists to come forth to help Chu Feng rebuild the Azure Dragon School. Every single inch and millimeter for almost every single building had spirit formations added onto them, and they were even blue-colored spirit formations. That also meant that not only was the Azure Dragon School Chu Feng was rebuilding incomparably grand and beautiful, it was also very firm and indestructible. What? Even the people from the World Spirit Guild has come to help Chu Feng? This Chu Feng has too much face, doesn't he? What do you even know? Chu Feng was originally a part of the World Spirit Guild. Besides, a few days ago, the one who saved the World Spirit Guild was Chu Feng. Right now, Chu Feng wants to rebuild the Azure Dragon School so it is natural that the World Spirit Guild sends out some manpower. The words cannot be said like so. Yes, Chu Feng saved the World Spirit Guild, but after all, he is in the young generation. Those Blue Cloak World Spiritists are very proud existences, I believe you should know that, yet Chu Feng is able to ask for them. We have to admit that this is too impressive. Within a luxurious tavern, a group of martial cultivation experts discussed the news of Chu Feng rebuilding the Azure Dragon School. All of you are truly overreacting to small things. A few Blue Cloak World Spiritists are nothing. I heard that even Gu Tianchen has gone there, not to mention the World Spirit Guild's elders. A rather imposing big man with decent cultivation spoke. After hearing the big man's words, the people within the tavern were all dumbfounded and endlessly shocked. That doesn't mean anything. 
Gu Tianchen's life was saved by Chu Feng, so it's normal for him to help Chu Feng. It would be strange if he didn't. Just at that time, on another table, a young man wearing white clothes disdainfully said, Oh? Brother, hearing your words, you seem to know even more explosive news, huh? Seeing that someone was actually interrupting when he spoke, the big man instantly revealed displeased expressions. That's right. If even news like these aren't much, then go ahead and say some even better ones. At the same time, the big man's pals were as if they had swords drawn and bows bent. They cast their unkind gazes towards the white-clothed young man. And facing the crowd's attitude, the white-clothed young man was not afraid in the slightest. He cast his gaze towards the white-clothed old man next to him and said, My school's head just came back from the Azure province, incidentally past the Azure Dragon Mountain Range, and saw a scene that none of you know about. This one. Could it be that you're the expert in the first level of the Heaven Realm, the head of the White Mountain School, Senior White? When the big men noticed the old man, all of them couldn't help taking a few steps back and revealed expressions of fear. That's right. I am by Shanchi. The old man smugly smile, then afterwards, lightly flicked his sleeves. A burst of boundless heaven power was instantly released, causing the tavern to shake. Other than himself and the white-clothed young man, everyone in the tavern fell on the ground and were powerless to stand. 630485BFB98C962D6C69 Chapter 483 Rebuilding the Azure Dragon School Monkey Bro Seeing the monstrous Monkey King lose consciousness, Chu Feng instantly panicked. He supported the monstrous Monkey King, and at the same time, everyone came up and surrounded them. The gazes they looked at the monstrous Monkey King with were filled with worry. Even though other than Chu Feng, Zi Ling, and Zhang Tiani, no one else there was really familiar with the monstrous Monkey King, they all knew that the expert with a strange appearance did an extremely impressive thing. It was suppressing the horrifying ice and fire pearls and saving Su Ro and Su Mei, who were deeply loved by Chu Feng. Even the Azure Dragon founder was unable to do that thing. So, they felt both grateful and respect towards the monstrous Monkey King and knew that it was a very outstanding expert. And after a while of checking, Chu Feng, Zi Ling, and the others couldn't help calming down. Although the current monstrous Monkey King was extremely weak and its injuries were not light as well, there was no threat to its life. The reason why it was in that state was because it used too much heaven power and spirit power. In that situation, as long as it carefully took care of itself, it would be able to be healed. Only after stabilizing the monstrous Monkey King situation did Chu Feng come in front of the purple-colored formation with Zi Ling to detailedly observe the situation within the formation. The formation was very beautiful and also very strong. There were over 10,000 types of symbols that converged together to form the purple-colored spirit formation. Every single one was as if it was granted life, flickering with faint radiance. Like the stars, they spiraled around an already set orbit within the purple-colored spirit formation. Through the gaps of the spirit formation, Chu Feng was able to see the situation within the formation. Su Rao and Su Mei were tranquilly lying inside. They had actually recovered their former, beautiful appearances. Frost faded away for one, flames faded away for the other. One became beautiful and cute, one became pure and amiable. Even though their faces were very pale, even though their auras were still very weak, they truly returned to their former appearances. Also, the pearls in their bodies were gradually stabilizing a special power was harmonizing with their bodies. Monkey bro, this time it is truly thanks to you. At that instant, Chu Feng cast his gaze towards the monstrous monkey king sleeping behind him, and his face was filled with expressions of gratitude. A few days after the ice and fire pearls were sealed in Su Rose and Su Mei's bodies, the monstrous Monkey King's body had recovered, and also at that time, the army of the Jiang dynasty actually descended from the sky and came to the currently desolate Azure Dragon Mountain Range that was a complete mess. Quickly after, the Chilin Prince's mansion also sent out a large group of men. So, they were here to help Chu Feng rebuild the Azure Dragon School. 
The Jiang dynasty asked for the best craftsmen in the continent of the nine provinces, and even sent out a grand army of 10,000 to help the construction. The Qilin prince's mansion also similarly sent out a grand army of near 10,000 people. Also, they gathered the best craftsmen within the borders of the Azure province to help Chu Feng rebuild the Azure Dragon School. That news soon spread throughout the continent of the nine provinces. The Jiang dynasty personally inviting first-class craftsmen and sent out 10,000 dynasty experts to help Chu Feng rebuild the Azure Dragon School. That inconceivable thing naturally shocked the continent of the nine provinces. Have you heard of it? Chu Feng is going to rebuild the Azure Dragon School. I heard about it. I even heard that the Jiang dynasty personally invited first-rate craftsmen experts from all areas of the nine provinces to help Chu Feng rebuild the Azure Dragon School. Not only that. The Jiang dynasty even sent out several tens of thousands of dynasty experts, and from what I've heard, they are all in the profound realm. Several tens of thousands of profound realm experts. Can you imagine that formation? Several tens of thousands of profound realm experts doing physical labor, constructing a school for someone. Have you ever heard of something like this before? Heavens! Are the things you're saying true or false? That's a bit too much, isn't it? No matter how much more overpowering Chu Feng is, he shouldn't be able to make the Jiang dynasty send out so many people, right? In the current continent of the nine provinces, all sorts of rumors rose everywhere. Some said the truth, some made up nonsense, very exaggeratedly spreading them. And after knowing about that, many young people who idolized Chu Feng clearly didn't confirm whether the rumors were true or false, yet they headed towards the Azure province without stopping nonetheless. They prepared to join the Azure Dragon School to check out their idol. Of course, there were also many people who didn't believe that and actually didn't care about hurrying for several tens of thousands of miles to come to the Azure province in order to get to the bottom of it, wanting to destroy the rumors. However, when the people who didn't believe it came to the Azure Dragon Mountain Range, they were instantly stupefied. It was because on the current Azure Dragon Mountain Range, not only were the army of the Jiang Dynasty and the Qilin Prince's Mansion doing giant constructions, there were even many people from the World Spirit Guild. Not only did the World Spirit Guild send out a large batch of experts, it even sent out Blue Cloak World Spiritists to come forth to help Chu Feng rebuild the Azure Dragon School. Every single inch and millimeter for almost every single building had spirit formations added onto them, and they were even blue-colored spirit formations. That also meant that not only was the Azure Dragon School Chu Feng was rebuilding incomparably grand and beautiful, it was also very firm and indestructible. What? Even the people from the World Spirit Guild has come to help Chu Feng? This Chu Feng has too much face, doesn't he? What do you even know? Chu Feng was originally a part of the World Spirit Guild. Besides, a few days ago, the one who saved the World Spirit Guild was Chu Feng. Right now, Chu Feng wants to rebuild the Azure Dragon School so it is natural that the World Spirit Guild sends out some manpower. The words cannot be said like so. Yes, Chu Feng saved the World Spirit Guild, but after all, he is in the young generation. Those Blue Cloak World Spiritists are very proud existences, I believe you should know that, yet Chu Feng is able to ask for them. We have to admit that this is too impressive. Within a luxurious tavern, a group of martial cultivation experts discussed the news of Chu Feng rebuilding the Azure Dragon School. All of you are truly overreacting to small things. A few Blue Cloak World Spiritists are nothing. I heard that even Gu Tianchen has gone there, not to mention the World Spirit Guild's elders. A rather imposing big man with decent cultivation spoke. After hearing the big man's words, the people within the tavern were all dumbfounded and endlessly shocked. That doesn't mean anything. Gu Tianchen's life was saved by Chu Feng, so it's normal for him to help Chu Feng. It would be strange if he didn't. Just at that time, on another table, a young man wearing white clothes disdainfully said, Oh? Brother, hearing your words, you seem to know even more explosive news, huh? Seeing that someone was actually interrupting when he spoke, 
the big man instantly revealed displeased expressions. That's right. If even news like these aren't much, then go ahead and say some even better ones. At the same time, the big man's pals were as if they had swords drawn and bows bent. They cast their unkind gazes towards the white-clothed young man. And facing the crowd's attitude, the white-clothed young man was not afraid in the slightest. He cast his gaze towards the white-clothed old man next to him and said, My school's head just came back from the Azure province, incidentally past the Azure Dragon Mountain range, and saw a scene that none of you know about. This one. Could it be that you're the expert in the first level of the Heaven Realm, the head of the White Mountain School, Senior White? When the big men noticed the old man, all of them couldn't help taking a few steps back and revealed expressions of fear. That's right. I am by Shanchi. The old man smugly smiled, then afterwards, lightly flicked his sleeves. A burst of boundless heaven power was instantly released, causing the tavern to shake. Other than himself and the white-clothed young man, everyone in the tavern fell on the ground and were powerless to stand. Marshal God Azura Chapter 484 Glory Reappearing Senior White, Have Mercy Senior White, Have Mercy we had eyes, but didn't recognize Mount Tai. Senior White, we ask that as a great character, you forgive our mistakes and give us a chance to start anew. Feeling the old man's powerful heaven realm strength, everyone was endlessly terrified and kept on begging. A group of young ones aren't worth it for me, by Shanchi, to start a massacre. All of you, rise. The old man smugly smiled, then flicked his sleeve again causing the heaven power scattered about to return to this body. He raised the chopsticks on the table and continued eating. At that instant, the people on the ground were finally able to stand back up. They looked at one another, and their expressions were of panic and terror, but no one chose to leave. They stood where they were, fearfully looking at the white-clothed old man because they were really too curious. Curious what Bai Shanchi actually saw at the Azure Dragon Mountain Range. The Azure Dragon School that already caused people to be endlessly shocked. What unknown things actually happened, and how shocking would those things be? Say say Senior White, I wonder what you saw in the Azure Province. Can you tell us? Finally, one big man couldn't bear the curiosity in his heart, and asked stutteringly with a face filled with fear. Hearing someone ask about it, the white-clothed old man was not angry as he put down the chopsticks in his hand and swept his gaze over the crowd. Seeing the crowd's intrigued gazes, the smug expression on the old man's face couldn't avoid becoming stronger. Only then did he speak, whatever. This will be known sooner or later, and since all of you want to know so much, there's no harm in telling you. Actually, in the current Azure Dragon Mountain range, there is not only men from the Qilin Prince's Mansion, World Spirit Guild, and Jiang Dynasty helping Chu Feng rebuild the Azure Dragon School. Within the formation of people who are carrying out the enormous construction project, other than the human craftsmen with outstanding workmanship, cultivators with powerful cultivation, and world spiritists who grasp spirit formation power, I even saw innumerable huge monsters. Their howls shook the land and their strengths were incomparable powerful. The smallest was still at least several meters tall, and the larger ones were over ten meters tall. And such powerful monsters were actually, on the Azure Dragon Mountain Range, doing labor work. Also, they didn't even mind it. They were happy doing that and weren't tired. Monsters over ten meters tall? That. Were they monstrous beasts? Where did the monstrous beasts come from to be so powerful? To have such enormous bodies? At that instant, all of them revealed shocked expressions. That's right. They are indeed monstrous beasts. There was also an extremely large number of monstrous beasts. At least from what I saw, they were counted by ten thousands. The white-clothed old man smugly said. Monstrous beasts counted by ten thousands? Where in the world did so many monstrous beasts come from? And hearing those words, they were even more shocked. I know. It must be the monstrous monkey king. The mysterious expert that defeated Gu Tianchen and Jiashir a hundred years ago, the monstrous monkey king, 
the real monster king of the Thousand Monster Mountain. It is definitely it. It's definitely the one that called the monstrous beasts from the Thousand Monster Mountain to help Xu Feng rebuild the Azure Dragon School. After all, there are rumors saying that the monstrous monkey king is Chu Feng's big brother. Finally, someone noticed it and guessed the origin of the monstrous beasts. Seeing someone truly guessing the origin of the monstrous beasts, the white-clothed old man lightly smiled, and as he stroked his own beard of several strands, he said, that's right. He's correct. The strength of those monstrous beasts were very strong. Numbers like that, strength like that, indeed, only the monstrous beasts of the Thousand Monster Mountain have such characteristics. But that's not much. I even heard some news that I believe will definitely shock all of you. It's that the monstrous Monkey King announced it will be a guest elder for the Azure Dragon School. And that the monstrous beasts of the Thousand Monster Mountain will also all move to the Azure Dragon Mountain Range to serve the Azure Dragon School. The peerlessly powerful monstrous beasts that disregard all laws will become the protectors of the Azure Dragon School, and live and die with it. What? There's actually something like this? The monstrous beasts of the Thousand Monster Mountain are very terrifying. From what I've heard, the five great monster kings are powerful existences in the fifth level of the Heaven Realm, and at first, even the prestigious villa didn't dare to start conflicts against the monstrous beasts of the Thousand Monster Mountain. And right now, the monstrous monkey king that has come into this world again is even more unimaginably horrifying. With its own strength, it shifted the tides of the war regarding the five great powers and the World Spirit Guild. Even Jiashir was killed by it, and I've heard that even the Emperor of the Jiang Dynasty fears it. A thousand monster mountain like that can be said to be invincible, and right now, the horrifying monstrous beasts of the thousand monster mountain are actually joining the Azure Dragon School. This. This is simply inconceivable. Powerful. Really too powerful. The school hasn't even been rebuilt, yet there is already such a formation, such presence. When that Azure Dragon School finishes being constructed, wouldn't it become the number one school of the nine provinces? In the continent of the nine provinces, other than the Jiang Dynasty, what could defeat it? Knowing that news, not a single person there didn't greatly change their expressions. All of them were dumbfounded, and shock filled their eyes. Some people's body even trembled from purely hearing that news, being thoroughly dumbstruck. But in reality, the things that the white-clothed old man said were the truths. News like that, with the Azure province as the center, was currently spreading to all places of the continent of the nine provinces. At the end, when it finished spreading throughout the nine provinces, it then shocked the entire continent once again. Although the current Azure Dragon School hadn't been constructed yet, it had to be said that right now, it already became the number one school in many experts' and powers' eyes. The monstrous beasts of the Thousand Monster Mountain joined and it had the protection of the Jiang Dynasty. Who could defeat such a school? Not to mention the Jia Clan, Yuan Gang School, Fire God School, Free and Unrestrained Valley, and Hidden White Sect, the already fallen powers, even the prestigious Villa and World Spirit Guild that were still in their peak times were far from being comparable to the current Azure Dragon School. The Azure province, the land that had been desolate for several hundred years, finally stepped back onto the peak stage of the nine provinces. The Azure Dragon School, the school that had been desolate for several hundred years, finally became the number one school of the nine provinces once again. And all that was because of a young man. Chu Feng. It had to be said that Chu Feng became the focus of discussion for people again. They started to think back to Chu Feng's actions, think back to the astounding achievements he did, and started to compare him to the historical great characters of the nine provinces. Finally, they ended with a conclusion. Chu Feng was even more powerful than the historical great characters in the continent of the nine provinces. Many of those characters, including the Azure Dragon founder, didn't have too big achievements before the age of 20, and they all got famous in their later periods. But Chu Feng was different. He was only 17 years old, yet he had already left many legends in the continent of the nine provinces and stood on the peak of fame. 
even the Jiang dynasty had to give him some face, and even the immeasurably strong monstrous monkey king was his big brother. So, people felt that Chu Feng was the most horrifying person in the continent of the Nine Provinces. Chu Feng had potential that the historical great characters didn't have, and his future achievements was even unimaginable and incalculable. And people felt very fortunate. Fortunate that they personally saw the birth of a great character. Although the road Chu Feng walked on wasn't even, he did indeed succeed. From an unknown outer court disciple with a petty identity in the Azure province, he grew step by step. He first became the number one disciple of the Azure Dragon School, then his name shocked the Azure province, and ultimately, he became a legendary character that every family knew in the entire continent. Chu Feng's speed of growth was indeed astonishing. Despite at present, he couldn't be said to be the number one person in the continent of the nine provinces, despite at present, his identity was still of a young generation, everyone knew that the potential Chu Feng had would allow him to step onto an unprecedented peak. No matter if it was the current powerful people, or the historical powerful people, they were all going to be surpassed by Chu Feng one by one, and no one then would be comparable to him. 630485 Beft B9 8C 9622 D6 C69 Chapter 484 Glory Reappearing Senior White, have mercy. Senior White, have mercy. We had eyes, but didn't recognize Mount Tai. Senior White, we ask that as a great character, you forgive our mistakes and give us a chance to start anew. Feeling the old man's powerful heaven realm strength, everyone was endlessly terrified and kept on begging. A group of young ones aren't worth it for me, by Shanchi, to start a massacre. All of you, rise. The old man smugly smiled, then flicked his sleeve again, causing the heaven power scattered about to return to this body. He raised the chopsticks on the table and continued eating. At that instant, the people on the ground were finally able to stand back up. They looked at one another, and their expressions were of panic and terror, but no one chose to leave. They stood where they were, fearfully looking at the white-clothed old man because they were really too curious. Curious what Bai Shanchi actually saw at the Azure Dragon Mountain Range. The Azure Dragon School that already caused people to be endlessly shocked. What unknown things actually happened, and how shocking would those things be? Say say Senior White, I wonder what you saw in the Azure Province. Can you tell us? Finally, one big man couldn't bear the curiosity in his heart, and asked stutteringly with a face filled with fear. Hearing someone ask about it, the white-clothed old man was not angry as he put down the chopsticks in his hand and swept his gaze over the crowd. Seeing the crowd's intrigued gazes, the smug expression on the old man's face couldn't avoid becoming stronger. Only then did he speak, whatever. This will be known sooner or later, and since all of you want to know so much, there's no harm in telling you. Actually, in the current Azure Dragon Mountain Range, there is not only men from the Qilin Prince's Mansion, World Spirit Guild, and Jiang Dynasty helping Chu Feng rebuild the Azure Dragon School. Within the formation of people who are carrying out the enormous construction project, other than the human craftsmen with outstanding workmanship, cultivators with powerful cultivation, and world spiritists who grasp spirit formation power, I even saw innumerable huge monsters. Their howls shook the land and their strengths were incomparable powerful. The smallest was still at least several meters tall, and the larger ones were over ten meters tall. And such powerful monsters were actually, on the Azure Dragon Mountain Range, doing labor work. Also, they didn't even mind it. They were happy doing that and weren't tired. Monsters over ten meters tall? That. Were they monstrous beasts? Where did the monstrous beasts come from to be so powerful? To have such enormous bodies? At that instant, all of them revealed shocked expressions. That's right. They are indeed monstrous beasts. There was also an extremely large number of monstrous beasts. At least from what I saw, they were counted by ten thousands. The white-clothed old man smugly said. Monstrous beasts counted by ten thousands? Where in the world did so many monstrous beasts come from? And hearing those words, they were even more shocked. 
I know. It must be the monstrous Monkey King. The mysterious expert that defeated Gutianchen and Jiashur a hundred years ago, the monstrous Monkey King, the real monster king of the Thousand Monster Mountain. It is definitely it. It's definitely the one that called the monstrous beasts from the Thousand Monster Mountain to help Chu Feng rebuild the Azure Dragon School. After all, there are rumors saying that the monstrous Monkey King is Chu Feng's big brother. Finally, someone noticed it and guessed the origin of the monstrous beasts. Seeing someone truly guessing the origin of the monstrous beasts, the white-clothed old man lightly smiled, and as he stroked his own beard of several strands, he said, that's right. He's correct. The strength of those monstrous beasts were very strong. Numbers like that, strength like that, indeed, only the monstrous beasts of the Thousand Monster Mountain have such characteristics. But that's not much. I even heard some news that I believe will definitely shock all of you. It's that the monstrous Monkey King announced it will be a guest elder for the Azure Dragon School. And that the monstrous beasts of the Thousand Monster Mountain will also all move to the Azure Dragon Mountain Range to serve the Azure Dragon School. The peerlessly powerful monstrous beasts that disregard all laws will become the protectors of the Azure Dragon School and live and die with it. What? There's actually something like this? The monstrous beasts of the Thousand Monster Mountain are very terrifying. From what I've heard, the five great monster kings are powerful existences in the fifth level of the Heaven Realm, and at first, even the prestigious villa didn't dare to start conflicts against the monstrous beasts of the Thousand Monster Mountain. And right now, the monstrous monkey king that has come into this world again is even more unimaginably horrifying. With its own strength, it shifted the tides of the war regarding the five great powers and the World Spirit Guild. Even Jiashur was killed by it, and I've heard that even the Emperor of the Jiang Dynasty fears it. A thousand monster mountain like that can be said to be invincible, and right now, the horrifying monstrous beasts of the thousand monster mountain are actually joining the Azure Dragon School. This? This is simply inconceivable. Powerful really too powerful. The school hasn't even been rebuilt, yet there is already such a formation, such presence. When that Azure Dragon School finishes being constructed, wouldn't it become the number one school of the nine provinces? In the continent of the nine provinces, other than the Jiang Dynasty, what could defeat it? Knowing that news, not a single person there didn't greatly change their expressions. All of them were dumbfounded, and shock filled their eyes. Some people's body even trembled from purely hearing that news, being thoroughly dumbstruck. But in reality, the things that the white-clothed old man said were the truths. News like that, with the Azure province as the center, was currently spreading to all places of the continent of the nine provinces. At the end, when it finished spreading throughout the nine provinces, it then shocked the entire continent once again. Although the current Azure Dragon School hadn't been constructed yet, it had to be said that right now, it already became the number one school in many experts and powers' eyes. The monstrous beasts of the Thousand Monster Mountain joined and it had the protection of the Jiang Dynasty. Who could defeat such a school? Not to mention the Jia Clan, Yuan Gang School, Fire God School, Free and Unrestrained Valley, and Hidden White Sect, the already fallen powers, even the prestigious villa and world spirit guild that were still in their peak times were far from being comparable to the current Azure Dragon School. The Azure province, the land that had been desolate for several hundred years, finally stepped back onto the peak stage of the nine provinces. The Azure Dragon School, the school that had been desolate for several hundred years, finally became the number one school of the nine provinces once again. And all that was because of a young man. Chu Feng. It had to be said that Chu Feng became the focus of discussion for people again. They started to think back to Chu Feng's actions, think back to the astounding achievements he did, and started to compare him to the historical great characters of the nine provinces. Finally, they ended with a conclusion. Chu Feng was even more powerful than the historical great characters in the continent of the nine provinces. Many of those characters, including the Azure Dragon founder, didn't have too big achievements before the age of 20, and they all got famous in their later periods. 
but Chu Feng was different. He was only 17 years old, yet he had already left many legends in the continent of the Nine Provinces and stood on the peak of fame. Even the Jiang dynasty had to give him some face, and even the immeasurably strong monstrous monkey king was his big brother. So, people felt that Chu Feng was the most horrifying person in the continent of the Nine Provinces. Chu Feng had potential that the historical great characters didn't have, and his future achievements was even unimaginable and incalculable. And people felt very fortunate. Fortunate that they personally saw the birth of a great character. Although the road Chu Feng walked on wasn't even, he did indeed succeed. From an unknown outer court disciple with a petty identity in the Azure province, he grew step by step. He first became the number one disciple of the Azure Dragon School, then his name shocked the Azure province, and ultimately, he became a legendary character that every family knew in the entire continent. Chu Feng's speed of growth was indeed astonishing. Despite at present, he couldn't be said to be the number one person in the continent of the nine provinces, despite at present, his identity was still of a young generation, everyone knew that the potential Chu Feng had would allow him to step onto an unprecedented peak. No matter if it was the current powerful people, or the historical powerful people, they were all going to be surpassed by Chu Feng one by one, and no one then would be comparable to him. Marshal Gadazura Chapter 485 The Void School in Trouble, the current Azure Dragon School, under Chu Feng's lead, had its former glory reappear. Although the school hadn't finished construction yet, young geniuses from all areas of the nine provinces had already come to the Azure Dragon Mountain Ranging, wanting to enter the Azure Dragon School. Facing that situation, the Azure Dragon School could only push the examination forward. As the school hadn't been completely built, they started to recruit disciples. After all, it was a school for humans, so they couldn't only rely on the monstrous beast from the Thousand Monster Mountain for face. Recruiting disciples was an absolute necessity. Besides, within those who wanted to join the Azure Dragon School, many were of extreme good talent. They were a lot more excellent than many of the disciples before in the Azure Dragon School. There were even many young ones who already had the cultivation of the profound realm. That strength naturally made Li Zhongqing endlessly moved and couldn't bear missing out on that. And as the Azure Dragon School was large-scale recruiting disciple, the Azure Dragon School's elders and disciples, who left when the Qilin Prince's mansion was aiming to remove Chu Feng and the Azure Dragon School, carried hearts of hope when they came back to the Azure Dragon School. They shamelessly begged, wanting to re-enter the Azure Dragon School. But what they got was merciless refusal. The Azure Dragon School didn't give those traitors any chance. Other than the elders and disciples who were willing to live and die along with the Azure Dragon School, who entered the Thousand Bone Graveyard, no matter if it was disciples or elders, the Azure Dragon School chose completely new ones, and started to choose the excellent ones first. For the development of the Azure Dragon School, Chu Feng even took out 10 million profound beads as the foundation of the Azure Dragon School's development. That number really took Li Zhongqing aback feeling as if he entered a realm of dreams. At first, he didn't even want to accept it, but as Chu Feng urged, he finally took them. After taking the 10 million profound beads, Li Zhongqing then wanted to hand the position of school head over to Chu Feng because he knew that the many excellent young people who were willing to enter the Azure Dragon School didn't come for him, Li Zhongqing. They came for Chu Feng. He really didn't have the qualifications to be the head of the Azure Dragon School. Continuing to be the head would really make the disciples unconvinced. But Chu Feng said that currently, the old ancestor was in this world, so sooner or later, he was going to revive. At that time, it would be fine to directly hand the Azure Dragon School over to him. He, Chu Feng, only wanted to be an ordinary disciple of the Azure Dragon School. So, the position of school head still had to be temporarily held by Li Zhongqing. Facing that situation, Li Zhongqing didn't feel that it was good to say much more, so he could only continue being the head of the Azure Dragon School. Although he didn't say much on the surface, in his heart, he was endlessly grateful towards Chu Feng because he didn't make a mistake. 
The young man that many people disliked at first currently did indeed change the fate of the Azure Dragon School. As the Azure Dragon School, the number one school a thousand years ago in the nine provinces, had its former glory reappear, another powerful school a thousand years ago in the Azure province was still unbearably desolate at present. It was the Void School stationed at the Void Mountain Range. Psy, within the main hall of the Void School, came a helpless Psy. That Psy was made by the head of the Void School. He sat on the chief position in the main hall, swept his gaze towards the manager elders inside the hall, and said, The Azure Dragon School has already restored its former prosperous might, but my Void School still remains unknown. Right now, we are even forced to a state where we need to move away from the Void Mountain Range because of the Lotus Flower School that has only been created for dozens of years. I truly have no face to face the founder. Lord School Head, hasn't there already been rumors that Sei Chu Fong is Mr. Grey Cloak of that year? No matter what's said, my Void School still has some relations with Mr. Grey Cloak. If Chu Fong is truly that Mr. Grey Cloak, we can ask for help from the Azure Dragon School. If the Azure Dragon School is willing to help, how would the Little Lotus Flower School dare to forcefully occupy the Void Mountain Range? One manager elder said. Whatever. Putting aside that it is only a rumor, even if Chu Feng is truly Mr. Grey Cloak, back then, he has already given all the benevolence and assistance he could. What reason do we have to ask him for help again? The head of the Void School smiled as he shook his head. How could he have not possibly thought of testing luck by asking Chu Feng for help? Thinking back when the Azure Dragon School first faced danger, his Void School didn't do anything. Right now, they had risen greatly. Even he himself felt that it wasn't right to go find him to cling on to him, so naturally, he wouldn't so shamelessly go do that. Lord School Head, but right now, what my Void School is facing is the loss of school territory. If the Lotus Flower School is willing to let us go when we leave the Void Mountain Range, then that's fine. But if they are not willing to, then it would be too difficult for us to turn the situation around. I'm afraid we would be reduced to a third-rate school, and even possibly facing extermination. The elders painstakingly advised. This is something that cannot be helped. Who told us to be so greedy to fight over land against that Lotus Flower School? If we didn't have malicious exchanges against the Lotus Flower School, we would not have landed in our current state. The head of the Void School had a face filled with regret. So it turned out some time ago, within an area of land on the borders of the Void School, precious ore veins was discovered. The ore veins were very valuable, and if they were mined, they could be traded for large amounts of cultivation resources, which would cause the foundation of the Void School to become stronger. But the neighboring school of the Void School, the Lotus Flower School, also discovered those ore veins. Both sides said that the ore veins should belong to themselves, so for their own interests, an unavoidable battle happened between the two second-rate schools. The Lotus Flower School had only been created for over a few dozens of years. Although their founder had some methods, he had already disappeared for dozens of years. Even if he didn't disappear, he should have died from age. As for the Lotus Flower School, their current head strength was far from being comparable to the head of the Void Schools, and their elders' cultivation was also not as strong as the Void School's elders. Their school's foundation was also far weaker than the Void School's, so they could be said to be the most underdeveloped existence within second-rate schools. So, with might that was like breaking bamboo, the Void School beat the Lotus Flower School so badly that they were rolling around in their own excrement and they looked like flowers withering and water flowing away. But who would have thought that in the crucial moment, just as the army of the Void School arrived within the Lotus Flower School, preparing to make them pay the price, the founder of the Lotus Flower School, the Lotus Flower Old Man, actually appeared. Not only was the old man whose age already passed a hundred and should originally not be surviving nicely living, his cultivation even stepped into the eighth level of the profound realm. So, it seemed that he already gained the inheritance of an expert dozens of years ago and consumed a special pill that lengthened his life. In the past years, he kept on staying in isolation, cultivating painstakingly. 
And after the lotus flower old man showed himself, he didn't make things too difficult for the Boyd School. Not only did he not attack the people from the Boyd School, quite contrary, he let them back to the Boyd School. Facing such a magnanimous lotus flower old man, the head of the Boyd School felt shame in his heart. At the same time, he also expressed admiration, preparing to give the Orvanes to the Lotus Flower School after returning to the school and also to prepare heavy gifts to nicely thank the generosity of the senior. But who would have thought that it wasn't as simply as how he had imagined it? The Lotus Flower old man had his eyes on the Void Mountain Range. After the army of the Void School returned to the Void School, he was actually forcing the Void School to move out of the Void Mountain Range within a month and give the Void Mountain Range to his Lotus Flower School, or else he was going to start a huge massacre and kill them so much that nothing remained behind. And today was already the last day of the one-month limit. What the Void School was facing was a situation in which they had to leave the Void Mountain Range. His Lotus Flower School is only a small school. Even saying that it's a second-rate school is praising them. If that lotus flower old man didn't get some dog crap luck and gain the inheritance of an expert, which not only extended his life greatly and even caused his cultivation to rise greatly, how would his lotus flower school be able to defeat our void school? Several manager elders said while venting their anger. Whatever, don't hold grudges. That lotus flower old man has already performed what kindness he could by not directly exterminating the Boyd School and only chasing us out of the Boyd Mountain Range. If we have to blame anything, we can only blame that our abilities are inferior to theirs. How can we blame that he got the inheritance of an expert? Pass an order down. All elders and disciples will move with me. We will move out of the Boyd Mountain Range. As long as my Boyd School has a united heart, we can rise again at the eastern mountains like the sun no matter where we go. The head of the Boyd School ordered. And from then on, the several hundreds of thousands of disciples in the Boyd School, with the lead of the head of the Boyd School and the manager elders, grandly formed lines and groups, preparing to lead the Boyd Mountain Range. But just as they arrived at the Boyd School's entrance, at that place, a group of people and horses appeared. 630485 BFB9AC9622D6C69 Chapter 485 The Void School in Trouble The current Azure Dragon School, under Chu Feng's lead, had its former glory reappear. Although the school hadn't finished construction yet, young geniuses from all areas of the nine provinces had already come to the Azure Dragon Mountain Ranging, wanting to enter the Azure Dragon School. Facing that situation, the Azure Dragon School could only push the examination forward. As the school hadn't been completely built, they started to recruit disciples. After all, it was a school for humans, so they couldn't only rely on the monstrous beast from the Thousand Monster Mountain for face. Recruiting disciples was an absolute necessity. Besides, within those who wanted to join the Azure Dragon School, many were of extreme good talent. They were a lot more excellent than many of the disciples before in the Azure Dragon School. There were even many young ones who already had the cultivation of the profound realm. That strength naturally made Li Zhongqing endlessly moved and couldn't bear missing out on that. And as the Azure Dragon School was large-scale recruiting disciple, the Azure Dragon School's elders and disciples, who left when the Qilin Prince's mansion was aiming to remove Chu Feng and the Azure Dragon School, carried hearts of hope when they came back to the Azure Dragon School. They shamelessly begged, wanting to re-enter the Azure Dragon School. But what they got was merciless refusal. The Azure Dragon School didn't give those traitors any chance. Other than the elders and disciples who were willing to live and die along with the Azure Dragon School, who entered the Thousand Bone Graveyard, no matter if it was disciples or elders, the Azure Dragon School chose completely new ones and started to choose the excellent ones first. For the development of the Azure Dragon School, Chu Feng even took out 10 million profound beads as the foundation of the Azure Dragon School's development. That number really took Li Zhongqing aback, feeling as if he entered a realm of dreams. At first, he didn't even want to accept it, but as Chu Feng urged, he finally took them. After taking the 10 million profound beads, 
Li Zhongqing then wanted to hand the position of school head over to Chu Feng because he knew that the many excellent young people who were willing to enter the Azure Dragon School didn't come for him, Li Zhongqing. They came for Chu Feng. He really didn't have the qualifications to be the head of the Azure Dragon School. Continuing to be the head would really make the disciples unconvinced. But Chu Feng said that currently, the old ancestor was in this world, so sooner or later, he was going to revive. At that time, it would be fine to directly hand the Azure Dragon School over to him. He, Chu Feng, only wanted to be an ordinary disciple of the Azure Dragon School. So, the position of school head still had to be temporarily held by Li Zhongqing. Facing that situation, Li Zhongqing didn't feel that it was good to say much more, so he could only continue being the head of the Azure Dragon School. Although he didn't say much on the surface, in his heart, he was endlessly grateful towards Chu Feng because he didn't make a mistake. The young man that many people disliked at first, currently, did indeed change the fate of the Azure Dragon School. As the Azure Dragon School, the number one school a thousand years ago in the nine provinces, had its former glory reappear, another powerful school a thousand years ago in the Azure province was still unbearably desolate at present. It was the Void School, stationed at the Void Mountain Range. Sai, within the main hall of the Void School, came a helpless Sai. That Sai was made by the head of the Void School. He sat on the chief position in the main hall, swept his gaze towards the manager elders inside the hall, and said, The Azure Dragon School has already restored its former prosperous might, but my Void School still remains unknown. Right now, we are even forced to a state where we need to move away from the Void Mountain Range because of the Lotus Flower School that has only been created for dozens of years. I truly have no face to face the founder. Lord School Head, hasn't there already been rumors that Sei Chu Feng is Mr. Grey Cloak of that year? No matter what's said, my Void School still has some relations with Mr. Grey Cloak. If Chu Feng is truly that Mr. Grey Cloak, we can ask for help from the Azure Dragon School. If the Azure Dragon School is willing to help, how would the Little Lotus Flower School dare to forcefully occupy the Void Mountain Range? One manager elder said. Whatever. Putting aside that it is only a rumor, even if Chu Feng is truly Mr. Grey Cloak, back then, he has already given all the benevolence and assistance he could. What reason do we have to ask him for help again? The head of the Void School smiled as he shook his head. How could he have not possibly thought of testing luck by asking Chu Feng for help? Thinking back when the Azure Dragon School first faced danger, his Void School didn't do anything. Right now, they had risen greatly. Even he himself felt that it wasn't right to go find him to cling on to him, so naturally, he wouldn't so shamelessly go do that. Lord School Head, but right now, what my Void School is facing is the loss of school territory. If the Lotus Flower School is willing to let us go when we leave the Void Mountain Range, then that's fine. But if they are not willing to, then it would be too difficult for us to turn the situation around. I'm afraid we would be reduced to a third-rate school, and even possibly facing extermination. The elders painstakingly advised. This is something that cannot be helped. Who told us to be so greedy to fight over land against that Lotus Flower School? If we didn't have malicious exchanges against the Lotus Flower School, we would not have landed in our current state. The head of the Void School had a face filled with regret. So it turned out some time ago, within an area of land on the borders of the Void School, precious ore veins was discovered. The ore veins were very valuable, and if they were mined, they could be traded for large amounts of cultivation resources, which would cause the foundation of the Void School to become stronger. But the neighboring school of the Void School, the Lotus Flower School, also discovered those or veins. Both sides said that the or veins should belong to themselves, so for their own interests, an unavoidable battle happened between the two second rate schools. The Lotus Flower School had only been created for over a few dozens of years. Although their founder had some methods, he had already disappeared for dozens of years. Even if he didn't disappear, he should have died from age. As for the Lotus Flower School, their current head strength was far from being comparable to the head of the Void Schools, and their elders' cultivation was also not as strong as the Void Schools' elders. 
Their school's foundation was also far weaker than the void schools, so they could be said to be the most underdeveloped existence within second-rate schools. So, with might that was like breaking bamboo, the void school beat the lotus flower school so badly that they were rolling around in their own excrement and they looked like flowers withering and water flowing away. But who would have thought that in the crucial moment, just as the army of the void school arrived within the lotus flower school, preparing to make them pay the price, the founder of the lotus flower school, the lotus flower old man, actually appeared. Not only was the old man whose age already passed a hundred and should originally not be surviving nicely living, his cultivation even stepped into the eighth level of the profound realm. So, it seemed that he already gained the inheritance of an expert dozens of years ago and consumed a special pill that lengthened his life. In the past years, he kept on staying in isolation, cultivating painstakingly. And after the lotus flower old man showed himself, he didn't make things too difficult for the void school. Not only did he not attack the people from the void school, quite contrary, he let them back to the void school. Facing such a magnanimous lotus flower old man, the head of the void school felt shame in his heart. At the same time, he also expressed admiration, preparing to give the orvanes to the lotus flower school after returning to the school and also to prepare heavy gifts to nicely thank the generosity of the senior. But who would have thought that it wasn't as simply as how he had imagined it? The lotus flower old man had his eyes on the void mountain range. After the army of the void school returned to the void school, he was actually forcing the void school to move out of the void mountain range within a month and give the void mountain range to his lotus flower school, or else he was going to start a huge massacre and kill them so much that nothing remained behind. And today was already the last day of the one month limit. What the Void School was facing was a situation in which they had to leave the Void Mountain Range. His Lotus Flower School is only a small school. Even saying that it's a second-rate school is praising them. If that Lotus Flower old man didn't get some dog crap luck and gain the inheritance of an expert, which not only extended his life greatly and even caused his cultivation to rise greatly, how would his Lotus Flower School be able to defeat our Void School? Several manager elders said while venting their anger. Whatever, don't hold grudges. That lotus flower old man has already performed what kindness he could by not directly exterminating the void school and only chasing us out of the void mountain range. If we have to blame anything, we can only blame that our abilities are inferior to theirs. How can we blame that he got the inheritance of an expert? Pass an order down. All elders and disciples will move with me. We will move out of the Void Mountain Range. As long as my Void School has a united heart, we can rise again at the Eastern Mountains like the sun no matter where we go. The head of the Void School ordered. And from then on, the several hundreds of thousands of disciples in the Void School, with the lead of the head of the Void School and the manager elders, grandly formed lines and groups, preparing to lead the Void Mountain Range. But just as they arrived at the void school's entrance, at that place, a group of people and horses appeared, 